flirting can be a way of saying, I think you're special, and nothing more. Or it can be an invitation, depending on the kind of flirting you're doing. Flirting can be done with body language, a smile, words, or best of all, your eyes. You can look across the room at someone and subtly, but surely make that look convey a definite compliment. If you ever wonder about the power of those baby blues or browns, try staring at someone who isn't looking at you. See how quickly that person picks up on your attention. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Body language is an important part of flirting. It can be as simple as leaning towards someone instead of away from them, or something simple, like a slight touch on the arm. A lot of it is almost unconscious. Look at how the woman in red is swinging her bare foot. Or the way the woman in gold is moving her shoulders back and forth and rhythmically swaying her body. It certainly seems to be having a hypnotic effect on the man she's talking to. If you want to let a man know that you're interested in him, try looking into his eyes a few seconds longer than you normally would. This has definite implications. That's good flirting form. Her heart area is open, shoulders back, chest high. Look at that couple. Her arms are crossed firmly in front of her, and she's leaning away from him. She also isn't looking into his eyes very often. My guess is she isn't interested. Straightening a man's tie or collar is a time-honored way to flirt, because it works. There, now. Isn't that better? I don't think it's quite right. I think you do it a few more times. I know you. You're on my favorite story. <laughs> Come on, fix the collar a little more. Just one more time. Laughter is sexy. Another effective way to flirt is to step into someone else's space. Most people remain a few feet away from someone they are not intimate with. So if you want to flirt, cross over that imaginary line and get a little closer, the way she just did. By the way, flirting is different than seduction. And something like this is seduction. And that's terrific, as long as you know that's what you're doing. If you don't, the results could be uncomfortable. At the very least, you could be accused of being a tease. Practice makes perfect, but it's not a good idea to practice flirting with your best friend's boyfriend. One last thought about flirting. The absolute best person to flirt with is your husband or your longtime lover. We often take the people we love for granted. And flirting is a really nice way to let someone you love know that you think they're just as exciting today as you did when you first met. It keeps the fun in your relationship. <laughs>